Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's episode, I am at B&Q, a big box store in the UK. Gonna check out the plants they have there and maybe pick up a couple of items. So let's have a look what they got. Okay then guys, let's see what they've got in store. Looks like they've got some ivy here. Trailing ivy, four pounds. Not really sure about ivy for an indoor house plant myself. Got a selection of Tradescantia Zabrinas. I've got a few of these already in my house. These look quite healthy though. Six pounds, not too bad. It looks like there's quite a few stems in there. Maybe a little bit faded, the leaves. Not many purple leaves there. Got quite a few on there. And what's this? A leopard lily. That looks quite nice. Five pounds. Quite a nice plant. This is like a type of Dracaena, maybe. Cordyline. Five pounds. Got some leaf damage there. Another Cordyline, a variegated version. Five pounds again, looks quite nice. Looks like they've got some Petonias at the back. Let's have a look at them. Mosaic plant, six pounds, looks quite nice. Up here looks like we've got some elephant ears, type of alocasia, six pounds. Got a bigger one of these in my house already in my living room, so I don't need that. Is this a philodendron? Bamboo arrow, leaves don't know the healthiest on that. There's some uh, browning on the tips of that one. 10 pounds for that, quite a small plant. What are these? Phlebodium, five pounds, not too bad. Fiddle leaf fig, I bought this recently in Audi and it was uh, five pounds, including the pot. It's similar size to this one. They're selling it in B&Q, 12 pounds, including the pot. So I think I've got a good deal there. It's quite healthy, there's a few in there. Looks like they've got some baby Ficus elastica tenekis, 12 pounds, one stem. Got some plain green rubber trees, 12 pounds is it? Yeah. Cute little plant, already have that in my house. These are like Calafeas. Prayer plant, 12 pounds, including the pot. I bet you that these will be very fussy. You need to care for these properly. I've got a video coming out on how to care for Calafeas properly in the next few days. Watch out for that guys, subscribe if you're new. ZZ plant. These look a bit lime green. Didn't look quite right to me. Emerald palm. And that's a ZZ plant. Colours look a bit off. What's this? Ginseng bonsai. I saw that in IKEA recently. Dark green leaves. It's quite nice. I like the uh, the thick trunk on it. 26 pounds. Over here it looks like a selection of succulents. So it looks like we've got some aloe vera on the left. Aloe vera, six pounds. That's quite good. This looks like a jade, money tree, jade plant. Whoops. Again, as in Ikea, these jades have got white spots on them. I don't think it's a major catastrophe, but you don't want to be buying a plant that's got any sort of issues on it, really. So, not sure about that. How much are these? Five pounds. Aloe cactus, that's quite nice. I've got a few succulents in my house, but I've not got many, so I would quite like to, to increase the amount I have. Succulent Miranda. Silver succulent, that's quite nice. It's 
so it's got some new growth coming at the bottom that just says succulent so that's not that helpful royal highness again four pounds so it's like a type of echeveria eight pounds including the part doesn't look too bad oh what's this this is a golem jade is it just says crashula three pound fifty doesn't look super healthy it's a bit of a shame i quite like the look of that I think that's the only one I see here as well. Looks like there's flies buzzing around these. Don't know whether they're fruit flies or fungus nuts. Oh, there's some at the back there. I think I can see them. Have a look at those. Some more interesting jugs there. Look at this one. Tiny, tiny baby plants we've got here. They're quite interesting. A little Sansevieria, I believe. Just as succulent. That's a type of Sansevieria. Comes with a pot. Quite like being cute that they always put it in a pot for you so you don't have to worry about choosing the right pot. How much are these? Is, uh, four pounds. These look quite cute. Starting to flower. Interesting. Got white spots on it. I think it's something to, to do with the watering and the salt buildup in the in the soil. It excretes white spots. Some more echeverias there. Looks like an interesting echeveria. Let's try and pull that one out. Three pounds. I think it'll quickly outgrow that spot though. Might come back and see what. See if there's anything here I'd want to buy. This one looks quite nice actually. I saw this in my recent IKEA video. Very thick succulent, three pounds. But again, doesn't look the healthiest. The tops are crisping up. It's like a type of parlor palm, I think. Parlor palm, yeah, six pounds. Got one of those already at home. It's like a Dracaena, I believe. Dragon tree, quite like the variegation on that. Oof. Emerald palm or ZZ plant, I think it is. Anyway, looks like a little baby monsteras. Again, comes in a pot, 12 pounds. It's not bad value, I don't think. Quite a nice pot. Some more Calafayas. I didn't say what type that is. I think I've got that already in my house, a smaller version. And that features in my Calafaya care guide. I've got that one as well. I think I bought that one from this shop, in fact. Much bigger than that one, though. Look at the leaves on that. Type of Calafaya, very nice. I'm always wary about buying a Calafaya because they are really fussy. 12 pounds. Beautiful leaves on that. Look at that. There's that one as well. Calafayas do have some of the most interesting leaves. Looks like the new growth coming out as well. Healthy plant. 12 pounds. I like that. I consider that actually. Always interesting leaves, Calafayas. Spider plants look nice and full. Quite healthy, six pounds. Monstera adesoni, I believe. Adesoni, I've got a care video on how to look after that. Check that out, guys. It's a type of fern, is it? Bons Boston fern. Six pounds, not a massive fan of them really. Don't really like ferns. Some more fiddle leaf figs. Some more parlor palms. What's this one? This one's slightly different. Parlor palm. Soil looks a bit too wet for my liking. Some umbrella trees. 
So you've got the non-variegated version, some new growth poking out of the top. And then you've got the variegated version, it's the one I have. This one's really variegated. Beautiful, that one. Stunning plant. How much is that? Wow, six pounds, that is cheap. Umbrella plants generally are quite cheap, aren't they? I don't know why, because they really are a nice plant, especially when you've got variegation like that. Beautiful. Some more ZZs or em emerald palms. Got some interesting pots as well. Anything I like the look of? Look at them, two-toned, and that's seven pounds, quite nice. If I buy a plant in here, then I will probably look to buy a pot to go with it. We'll see what happens. Got some large palms here. Forty-two pounds, very nice. Don't have one of these. I would quite like to have one. This one looks very nice as well. 50 quid. Definitely a statement piece for your house. A little selection of plants down here. What we got? Some more parlor palms, some more monsteras, snake plant. Already got that in my house, 12 pounds, not too bad. Does it say what type it is? Just said snake plant, ideal for a shady room. Another one there. Slightly different to that one. Another Calafea. That's more like the one I've got in my house, much bigger. Let's see how much they're selling that for. Comes in a little basket. £25. That's the basket. Quite a good value for £25. Some much larger emerald palms. New growth coming out. Massive pot. 30 pounds, a big old plant that is. I've got some huge snake plants here as well. Look at these. You rarely see snake plants in pots as big as this. How much are these? 40, 45 pounds. Got a lot of leaves on there. So I've already got both these types at home. I've got this one, this is really nice. I've got a video on how to care for how to propagate a snake plant, how to water it as well. Check out that video guys. In this corner we've got some dragon trees. 32 pounds. Let's have a look. Yep, 32 pounds. Good free stems. Yucca plants. Look how thick that stem is. Beautiful. Rooted, <laughs> 36 pounds. Seems like it wants to come out a little bit too easily, that one. Not sure what the story is with that. Golden dragon tree. Massive thick stems. Big old plant, 38 pounds. Like the leaves on that. Larger umbrella, 25 pounds. Ficus exotica, non-variegated. Weeping fig, weeping fig golden, golden king plant, 23 pounds. So that one's slightly different to that one. More smaller yuccas. Devil's Ivy, 20 pounds, growing up this moss pole. Another dragon tree. How much of these? 18 pounds. Some larger parlor palms. 22 pounds. Nice big bushy tree you got there. Fortune tree, money tree. I've got one of these actually, £22. 
It's got loads of leaves on it though. What's this? What's this plant hidden? Strelitzia nicolai. I've never heard of that plant before. Looks like a type of philodendron to me. Could be wrong. Or a banana plant looks similar to. If anyone knows what that is, let me know in the comments. I've not seen that before. Schefflera umbrella plant. Slightly different, got bigger leaves. 18 pounds. I've not seen an umbrella plant like that before. Very full, quite nice. Doesn't look super, super healthy. What's this hidden at the back? Philodendron Green Wonder. 18 pounds. Oh, they're a bit battered and bruised though, maybe. Some more over here. Is this a banana plant? Strezzoli Nicolai. Is that the larger one or that one I saw over there? This must be a banana plant. Big leaves, a little bit beaten up though. It's a bit of a shame. Got some large peace lilies. Some nice flowers coming out. 22 pounds for that peace lily. Got smaller ones as well. 14 pounds. Some types of anthuriums, 16 pounds, including the pot. Nice pot, nice white pot to go with the green and red plant. Oh, it's like a little combo plant. Peace lily, and that's a type of succulent at the front, and then a yucca, baby yucca plant, I guess. Three very different plants being put in the same pot. Not sure how the watering is going to go with that one. What's this? Bromelai, Bromelai, eight pound. Look at that color on that. Beautiful. That's interesting. I wonder if it always sends out that colorful shoot. Don't know anything about that plant. If you know anything about this plant, let me know in the comments, because I don't know anything. I might buy that purple one, because that looks very nice and it's only eight pounds. Selection of colourful looking cacti here. These look interesting. Five pounds. Are they real, those tops? What have I been put on? Or at least coloured. What do you think guys? Let me know in the comments. Some more cacti over here. Oh, that nearly got me on the finger. Six pounds. Oh, the look at these. Six pounds. Feels really heavy, like it's been watered quite heavily. But I've got my eye on one of those anyway, so I might buy that. Might buy that and the purple one over there that I saw. Oh, a string of beads. String of beads, seven pounds. Chinese money plant, a little baby one. Not very tall at all. Eight pounds. More jade plants, money trees, five pounds. Leaves look a little bit stressed, sun stressed maybe. These look interesting. Magnetic apparently, so you can stick them on a magnet strip. Quite a good idea, quite cute. Selection of jade um, succulents. Four pounds. What's this? Does it say what that is? It just says cacti. Not sure what that is. I'm sure it reminds me of something. Almost looks like a baby jade. Let me know in the comments if you know what that is. More of that uh, Streletzia. Never seen that before, but is it a type of philodendron? Is that all it is? Monstera, Agonia, polka dot. Ooh, looks like a pineapple. Pineapple plant. Amazing. 
Would we be able to keep that alive in the UK? Who knows? Some more types of jade. Ooh, carnivorous plants. Um, what are they called? The Venus flytraps, are they? Yep, Venus flytraps. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. I used to feed it flies. Really interesting plant. Look a little bit overwatered to me. Don't look the healthiest. Ah, this is a larger Golem Jade, I believe. Six quid. Again, they don't look that healthy. Some more Jade, some more Echeverias. Got citrus trees, little citrus trees. What type of citrus are these? Calamondin, orange. They look nice, 19 pounds. Is that one without any fruit? It's one without any fruit, it's always good. More Anthurium. Some orchids. Look quite nice. Got quite a lot of different species of plants here. It's quite impressive, really. For a big box store, 10 pounds, including the pot. Flaming Katie. I've got one of these at home. Not started to flower yet. Normally flower late winter. Put it in a bright spot. It's actually a type of succulent. Obviously these ones are flowering nicely at the top, but mine's yet to do that yet. And then we've got bell flowers. Are these annuals? These must be annuals. If you know that guys, let me know in the comments. Some more orchids. Some more smaller peace lilies. A couple of hanging ones here. Boston ferns, larger ones, 17 pounds. What are these over here? Asplenium, Asplenium. They're quite interesting, 17 pounds. Where was the plant? So it was this one. I think I'll pick up one of these. Ow. Getting stabbed to death here. Really heavy. I hope that's not being watered too much. Feels quite dry. Just a heavy plant, I guess. Six pounds. I want to buy one of them, so I think I'll buy that. I think I need to get a, uh, a basket. Bear with me. So I've got my cactus in my basket down there, and then I think I was going to pick up one of these. No idea what it is. I'll do that. Eight pounds, not bad. I think I'll see if there's a pot for that cactus. So we're looking for something that big. Hmm, I haven't got loads of pots. See if there's any pots over here for it. There wasn't many over there. Was there any pots underneath? Not really. Any pots, any pots anywhere. I'm surprised it doesn't come in a pot. These look quite nice, but I think they're too big. Okay, well I can't find any pots, so I think I'll just buy it as it is. Like I say, I'm going to purchase those two plants, one for six, one for eight. Quite happy with that. Quite a nice selection in B&Q today in this big box store. So I'll go and pay for this now. So there you go then guys, that is my shopping trip at B&Q, a big box store here in the UK. As you can see behind me, there's my two purchases. The uh, cactus that I've had my eye on for a while and the Bromley ads, don't know anything about that plant, but I thought it looked quite interesting, quite cheap, so I thought I'd buy that. Also came in its pot, its own pot, which is super handy. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, guys, then please give it a thumbs up, really helps the channel grow. Just wanted to say thank you to those of you who recently subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.